Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing very well today. As you guys know, I love to find interesting and unique guitars to share with you guys. And today we've got a very interesting one from PRS. Check this thing out, Maple Fingerboard. That is super rare on a PRS and what? A bolt-on? Yeah, bolt-on PRS, maple neck, maple fingerboard. What is this thing? Let's find out. Yes, welcome back to the channel, you guys. As I mentioned, we've got a unique PRS guitar in the studio. This one's in an eye-catching sort of uh, teal color. Also comes in black and amber, I think. Uh, this one, to me, is the most eye-catching, and there's a reason for it. Um, and it's the Maple Fingerboard and the Birds. Here, I'll show you in a second here. So there's the Maple Fingerboard. That is rare on a PRS, but check out the Birds. Just that beautiful abalone. And I gotta say, as soon as it kind of matches up with the body, all the colors from the birds just match the body beautifully. So that's why I think this color is just, just really, really attractive. The birds, the maple fingerboard matching the body color, just beautiful. All right, so here's some quick highlights on the PRS SE Swamp Ash Special. Number one, this only used to ever be a very, very expensive PRS core model, but PRS is continuing the trend of bringing their core models down to the SE lineup, which I absolutely love. So we'd never be able to get an affordable version of this if it wasn't for the SE lineup. So love that. Lots of elements on this guitar are similar across the range. So tuning machines, nut, the old trusty bridge, the knobs, lots of familiar, you know, parts and stuff across the PRS SE line. But of course, on this model, we get the Swamp Ash body. Very beautiful. Now, Swamp Ash can get pretty heavy. It can get out of control, but I threw it up on the scale. Very reasonable, 7.7, 7.8 pounds, right in that range. So, you know, it's definitely not a nine pounder. So the Swamp Ash just looks phenomenal but it's not, you know, with the weight penalty. So I love that. That's of course one of the most unique elements of this guitar. And of course the fingerboard and the neck. So yeah, and as I mentioned, the combination of colors is just killer. Love that. Uh, the other big unique element on this guitar is the pickups. So as I mentioned, interesting switching on this guitar. We've got 8515 S's, so that's for the SE series. And then we've got an Alnico Steel single coil, which is supposed to be like really overwound to kind of keep up with the humbuckers. But the interesting thing is you can never actually have that single coil by itself. It's always in combination with a humbucker or with a split humbucker. So you're getting tones here that are not typical. It's combinations of the single coil and you know, the humbuckers. So we'll do that in a second, but it's a three-way switch and then you can pull the tone three-way switch again. So you got six tones on this guitar. And as I mentioned, yeah, very interesting tones that I wouldn't necessarily always associate with PRS, which is kind of cool. So uh, yeah, we'll do that in a second. But yeah, those are the main highlights. Neck, heel joint, unique pickups, beautiful maple fingerboard. So there you go. Let's plug it in and see what this thing sounds like. Let's kick things off with a super quick tour of the clean tones. I'm just gonna do the basics, neck, middle, and bridge, and then we're gonna pull out on the tone control. That's where things get pretty unusual, uh, but here's the basic tones, neck pickup. So really nice, clean tones. Um, let's go ahead, pull out on what I'm calling the quack switch, because as soon as we go pull that baby out, it's super quacky. You'll hear what I mean. So we're gonna go neck, middle, and bridge again with the tone control out.
So here are my final thoughts on the SE Swamp Ash Special. Now, number one, I like that you can still get all those typical PRS tones. You go to the bridge, you go to the neck, you got it all right there. And then if you want to expand the palette, you just pull it up and you've got some very unique tones, uh, you know, for recording or whatever. And, you know, I don't think anyone would be able to tell what kind of guitar it was <laughs> recorded on just because those tones are just unique. They're, yeah, really, really cool. Uh, aesthetically, I think personally for me, this is a looker. I love colored guitars. Uh, and this one is, yeah, something unique. And yeah, in my opinion, really, really beautiful. Um, they did a really good job. Construction is typical of PRS SE. If you've played on one, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Um, because we don't have a painted neck, we can actually look at the scarf joint. It always lists the scarf joint, um, and, but with a painted neck, you can't always see it. Here's what the PRS SE scarf joint looks like. Really clean and beautiful. We just don't get an, an opportunity to see it very often. So I thought I'd show you guys. Yeah, really well done. Super smooth, super strong. And yeah, other than that, it's just a fun guitar to play. You know, like I said, you can just, you know, stick with the typical tones uh, if you want. You can't just get the single coil, as I mentioned off the top, um, which some people might think is a shame, but yeah, you do get a lot of kind of like quacky poppy kind of tones as well, which is pretty cool. So yeah, overall, there's a look at the carve. It's kind of like the shallow SE carve. So you're not going to get like the intense carve of the core model, of course, but yeah, just a beautiful guitar. Well done. And yeah, as I mentioned, there's black and amber as well in terms of the finishes, but yeah, construction, beautiful as you would expect for a guitar number one in this price tier and number two with PRS's reputation. Uh, they do such a good job of quality control. So I love that. So overall, yeah, fun guitar, interesting tones, great price. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned to the channel. We got lots of really cool guitars coming up to share with you guys. So subscribe if you haven't done that. Other than that, have yourself a great day. Take care.